Well, there's Dave Motorhead again. And I want to show you why you should only use good quality Viton O-rings for your pushrod tubes from one of our high quality vendors. Look on the hat cam and I'll show you what's up. Okay, what we got here is we got some low quality O-rings that I've been pulling off. And as you can see here, we got the Viton, which is kind of a brown color. We got the green, which who knows what the heck that is. We got this orange one, which is actually square. It's not even round, it's flat. If you look at the Viton one, you can see that it's square and flat. So you don't want to use that one definitely. And then we've got the old standard black crispy ones that always break. Now when you're undoing these things you want to take these off I got a little hook here thingy I just wanted to show you that on the engine block side the push rod tube or seal is still pliable but you go to the head side where the head is hot and you try to pull this thing off it just flakes off like that can you see that it just flakes off and look at that it's not even coming off it's just breaking and that my friends is a sure leak so that's why you only want to use the good Viton pushrod tube o-rings from our quality vendors or else you'll get one of these I can see if I can grab me another one over here I just pulled these out of an engine let's see how this one Look at that. Now you think your car is going to leak oil with that in it? I think it's going to. So make sure that you get the good Viton O-rings from now on. When you do, your pushrod tubes. That's a helpful hint from Dave Motorhead. Thanks for watching.